Good morning and welcome back to Here Today, where tomorrow, today, we're out on the farm. We're here at Lasso the Moon Alpaca Farm, getting a tour, seeing what it's like. What's the difference between an alpaca and a llama? Do you know the difference? Leave it in the comments down below. But we're going to go pet some alpaca. We're going to check out some of their fur, see how they're raised. This place has a beautiful garden. So we're just going to do some exploring today. Join us. Alpaca ate out of your hand. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel them? They're yeah. so soft, huh? Very cool. This is the male. He looks spunky. What? What's up, bud? He's ready to go. He is ready to go. All right. So we just fed some alpaca. Uh, normal grain stuff. It was very much petting zoo-ish feeling. Flat hand. They don't have any top teeth, only bottom teeth. So they're not like biting at you. They're like scooping with their bottom teeth. So pretty neat. Check out this little greenhouse they got in here. All right, so we're back in my parents' cabin. We had a wonderful time at the alpaca farm. We really appreciate them for just kind of showing us around and giving us a, a little bit of a day in the life of what it's like to be an alpaca farmer. Um, my uncle actually had alpaca for a really long time. So Everett, shout out to you. Uh, pretty cool stuff. So anyways, we're back at my parents' cabin. It is time for us to do a cookout for uh, Hannah's birthday. Today she turns nine, so happy birthday, Hannah. Happy ninth birthday, Hannah. Um, I don't know if you remember, last year I took her out for her eighth birthday uh, and we went putt putt golfing. So I'll link the video here. Uh, we had a wonderful time then. But uh, my dad asked me if I could bring my griddle. So uh, if you're new to the channel, I have a flat top griddle from Razor. Um, it's kind of like a Blackstone. Everybody talks about the Blackstone this, Blackstone that. Um, I really like this Razor. Uh, and I've had it for quite a while now. And uh, it is well maintained, well oiled, and well used. So. Uh, we're just gonna do a once over. I don't need to do the whole setup for you or nothing, but uh, you'll get to see me kind of set it up real quick. It's got three pieces and you're pretty much ready to rock. So, all right, come on. So, here it is. We have our razor griddle. Then we have a brand new, unused 20 pound propane tank. And then this is the adapter. This uh, likes having the one pound propane tank, we wanted a bigger one, so we got a 20 pound here. All right. Now, 
So here we are. You turn this little locking knob, you put your foot here, and voila. Okay, once you got that going, this is your little holder right here. Are we in? There we go. Now we're seated. So that's your regulator there. Nice and set. There we go. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. All right, so here's the whole setup. I have not touched this grill since the last time you guys saw, which was when we made dinner for Katie. That hibachi chicken, which was the date that's on the screen because I don't even remember. And uh, looks great. That's the thing, man. If, if you keep it well-oiled, well-loved, well-used, uh, it'll last. Dinner was a success. We just celebrated with cake and ice cream and we handed out some presents. So Hannah, happy ninth birthday. And uh, mom and dad, thank you so much for hosting us. Um, we had a wonderful time here in the Young Harris, Hiawassee uh, area of Georgia. Um, we're definitely gonna be back come November for Thanksgiving when all of this will look completely different with the leaves changing and falling um, it is time for us to wrap up here uh, at my mom and dad's cabin for the last time this trip and then we're gonna go ahead and head back to our trailer uh, we got a lot of stuff to do back at the RV tomorrow we're staying at a KOA in North Carolina so I've never stayed at a KOA so that should be really interesting should be a lot of fun so yeah I want to take this moment to invite you to subscribe to the channel uh, if you like camping, cruising, or just good old family times. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free for you and it really helps us and the channel grow. Uh, we did just hit our 4,000 public watch hours. That is one of four pillars to be a YouTube partner. So all we need is the subscriber base. We're at just over 410, I think we're like 416, 415. Um, so you can help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers. Uh, we're trying to get to the thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but uh, we're really hoping. So uh, why don't you become a part of the squad, the Here Today, Where Tomorrow squad, and, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out.